Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create inventory items in QuickBooks Online Plus, click the gear button and then click the products and services link under the list heading to open the products and services page. Click the new button in the upper right corner of the page to open the product service information window. Here you can create a new inventory item. First select the type of product or service to create. The choices are inventory, non-inventory, service, and bundle. An inventory item is a product you buy and or sell directly and for which you track quantities. A non-inventory item is used for items you buy and or sell but for which you don't need to track quantities. A service item is used for services your company provides to customers. A bundle item is used for items you sell together as a set. To create an inventory item, click the Inventory Choice. After choosing the type of item to create, enter the name of the item into the Name field. This field is required. If you use SKU numbers, you can enter the item SKU into the SKU field. To the right is an Upload button that you can click to upload a picture of the item. Clicking this button opens a File Upload dialog box. Use this to navigate to the picture of the item and click it to select it. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to upload it. Below the SKU field is an Is Subproduct or Service checkbox with a drop down below it. If the item is a subproduct of another product or service, then check this checkbox and then select its parent product or service from the adjacent drop down menu. The next section in this window only appears for inventory items. To track the quantity on hand, enter values into the next two required fields. The Initial Quantity on Hand field is where you enter the quantity of the items you have on hand as of the date you select from the As of Date field. For new items not yet purchased, this value is often zero. If entering inventory you had on hand when starting your QuickBooks company file, enter the amount of the inventory item you had as of the start date of your company file for accurate inventory and accounting. Enter the point at which you want to reorder more of this item into the Reorder Point field. This is the minimum quantity of this item to have on hand. Then use the Inventory Asset Account drop-down to select the Inventory Asset Account used to track the value of these items when held in inventory. A basic Inventory Asset Account is automatically created when you created your company file. You can also create an account in your Chart of Accounts to use a specific Inventory Account. However, if you create a new inventory account, it must be of the inventory account detail type to work properly. Next are the Sales Information and Purchasing Information sections. In the Sales Information section, enter the description of the item to show in Sales Forms into the Description on Sales Forms field. You can enter the item's default sales price into the Sales Price or Rate field. Use the Income Account drop-down to select the income account you use to track sales of this item. This account must be a Sales of Product Income detail type for inventory tracking to work properly. Then check the Is Taxable checkbox if the item is taxable. In the Purchasing Information section, enter the item description to show in Purchase Forms into the Description on Purchase Forms field. You can enter the Default Purchase Price into the Cost field. This lets QuickBooks Online Plus enter this amount as the default price when buying this item. You can leave it blank if the cost varies greatly and enter it later within purchase forms if desired. Use the Expense Account drop-down to select the account to which you attribute purchases of this inventory item. This account must be a Cost of Goods Sold account detail type for inventory tracking to function properly. To save the inventory item and close the window, Click the Save and Close button in the lower right corner of the window. To instead save the inventory item and open another window to continue entering items, click the drop-down part of this button and then click the Save and New command. To cancel creating the inventory item instead, click the X in the upper right corner of the window. Once you enable inventory tracking for an item, you cannot turn it off for that item. If you want to disable inventory tracking for an item, you can inactivate the item and create a new one. Inactivating an item will not affect previous transactions. 
Additionally, you cannot change historical account usage of inventory items if quantity on hand tracking is enabled. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.